and there's a whoosh like noise. I'm and getting. You can get it. I like it. I like it. Huh? So you this. Like to turn on the Maserati. It's awesome. Boom. <laughs> You're starting it up. Yeah. Hey, T-Fam, I'm about to show you a serve improvement that'll rev you up as much as it did for our student. I'm Kirby Bridges, and I'm a pro here at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate players just like you. The private VIP student you're about to see is Dennis, who recently came out to work with us from Lakewood Ranch, Florida. We showed him how to clean up his service motion so that he can have the tools he needs to reach his goals. In my very first conversation with Dennis, he told me that since retiring three years ago, he's been devoted to nothing but health, happiness, and tennis. He's completely committed to his improvement, just as I know you are. So stick around for the end of this video because I'll be letting you know how you can get our free serve action plan so you can follow our coaching to improve the very next time you're on court. For now, let's jump right into the lesson. So you've never, I'm assuming you've never seen your serve, right? Right. I'll play through, I'll, let me play, just play through a couple on full speed so you can see. Your initial like setup, how, have you watched much analysis of like uh, serve technique? Yes. Okay. And I, I, I hear you. Are you familiar with a trophy pose? Well, that's kind of concept? That's my version. Yeah. yeah. No, and this is like the part of the, the Several of those check boxes you're checking here. Yeah. Uh, you're turning your chest back to face towards yeah. the camera. I know I'm not lifting. You've got an upward tilt I'm up not, towards the ball. I'm not jumping or, or you don't call it jumping. That's fine. Yeah. I don't care much about that. Okay. We're, we're going to focus pretty much exclusively on your upper body yes. uh, motion. Yeah. Um, so like, this is, a, this is a good trophy pose. Yeah. Uh, the other part of your swing that you're doing a really nice job of is, yeah. is this right here. Take that. Getting your, this is on the way up towards the ball your uh, racket is moving up on edge, up yeah. towards the ball. Yeah. Most players are, are in this position. Yeah? Uh, yes. yeah. This, the, this, most players don't yeah. ever get to this yeah. uh, position. Yeah. Now, the, for me, the two parts that yeah. stick out as being, um, we were talking over lunch over the difference between uh, just superfluous movement that doesn't really it's not a plus or a, or a minus, like it's kind of stylistic thing, mm -hmm. and something that actually hinders, mm -hmm. you know, gets in the way of good execution. Right. You've got one of each uh, going on. Yeah. Um, the superfluous, like kind of stylistic thing, yeah. it's not adding to your your yeah. results at all. Yeah. Is the this the first part of your swing yeah. where you bring your racket back, swing it up fast, and then back fast. Yeah, back fast. Uh, yeah. That I'm. We could probably measure it, but I'm, I'm pretty confident yeah. that this is actually the fastest yeah. part of your swing. Wow. Like, including, like, from here, from here, look at how you lag, like, you lag this yeah. <laughs> and release it and snap forwards up to this position, and there's a whoosh, like, noise. I'm getting... <laughs> you can get it. I like it, I like it. Huh? So th you this... like the turn on the Maserati? <laughs> That's awesome. Boom. You're starting it up? Yeah. So, I mean, for me, like, it's, like, it's not hurting you. So you're laughing. She's, she's laughing. This, this isn't, like, hurting your motion. Yeah, I know. Um, it's, but it's, it's total... It's so unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I think it contributes to this really quick... Uh, yeah. From here to here, you also do very, very quickly, yeah. which leads to a big slowdown in momentum here. Right. It would be much, much better. And the majority of uh, great servers yeah. are um, slow during this part yeah. and then explosive up towards the ball. And you're going explosive, explosive, slow, yeah. and then trying to be explosive again. Right. And so you've got like a four phase yeah. you know, swing where it could, it could be a two phase swing yeah. just with a calm uh, load and then explosion up, up towards the ball. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now the other part that's not—it's not—it's not, um, 
it does contribute negatively. It's not just like a, a stylistic thing. It's what happens from your trophy pose, between your trophy pose and your racket drop, you're going back and forth twice with your racket. And I don't, I'm not sure what it, to call this. It's, I wouldn't call it a hitch because it's an, an actual back and forth uh, movement. From here, here, let me show you. Um, this is one of my first uh, private uh, students, uh, 5 0 player. <clears throat> so from, from here, well, I want you to watch the very, the very tip of uh, Sean's uh, racket. Right. He's bringing the tip of his racket up, and then it's, he's going to draw like a little circle back here with the racket, mm -hmm. going down into his trophy pose. And then, just like you, he's bringing the racket up on edge, mm -hmm. up towards the ball. So if we kind of move through that uh, smoothly and you watch the tip of his racket, there's a smooth transition around the back and then up towards the ball. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. so it kind of loops back around him and then up towards contact. Mm -hmm. So on yours, on yours, you're coming back to that. This is that same mm -hmm. position Sean was just in. Now watch the tip of your racket. Mm -hmm. It's going to go to the left and then back to the right and then loop around. Whoa. So you're, cha you're changing direction uh, two times. Uh, you're going from right mm -hmm. to left to right and mm -hmm. then and then around and so the momentum of your racket is swinging back and forth before it ever actually starts to build towards contact mm -hmm. uh, and so that very much is uh, right. to the detriment of your yeah. swing yeah. Uh, and so uh, if you look at uh, Sean's again so he has once he gets to his trophy pose he has a continual yeah. and smooth build of momentum. Right, with no deviation. Exactly, exactly, with no deviation around and up towards the ball. Mm. So the biggest issue um, with the way you're going about it isn't timing, although it does make timing more difficult. The biggest issue is that you are stopping yeah. and reversing right. the momentum of your racket right here, right. and then for, essentially you're just starting your motion from this position. Right, that's my start. Yes. And the ball's like in the air already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So come on up to the baseline and begin with your hands together in front of you. And I, I'd like you, go, like you to go back to your trophy pose and then I'm just gonna tweak, adjust your, your position a little bit so you can be aware of it and we can start going to the right spot. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'd like to see, relax your hand, a neutral position with your hand and wrist here. And I'd love to see a little bit more of a, mm -hmm. of a till here. So check out where your, your racket is facing right now. Mm -hmm. yep. It's great. Yep. Would love to see that position. So go back to your starting position and go back to where I just placed you. Pretty close. Yep, I'd love to see this elbow a little bit, a little bit lower. Yeah, so just kind of feel right now where, where you're at with your, your elbow, your shoulder, your hand, your wrist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This would be an awesome starting position. A couple more times. Each time you, you get to that spot, I want you to do a little inventory check and just look around, check your hand, check your racket. Should have about a 90 degree angle between your, your bicep and your, your forearm and a, and a neutral uh, hand and wrist before your, your hand was a little bit laid back. And so I, was, I straightened you up a little bit. That's where you just were. Starting with your hands together and back to here. Mm -hmm. The only thing we could really be doing a little better is, is turning back towards the camera a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, are you doing a nice. Rotating the chest? Maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yep. But this is a good, this is a good solid start, mm -hmm. and Sean Sean really is a good uh, solid fundamental mm -hmm. uh, example. About as as solid as it gets for being a non-professional uh, player. So the main keys are 
chest back towards the camera, mm -hmm. this uh, line across his chest, and then his uh, racket, you see his hand in his racket in a neutral, mm -hmm. neutral position. He had one, one rep in here in particular that was really nice. So this is starting to get there. This is a good position. A little bit less tilt uh, than mm -hmm. Sean, uh, but the rest of, it, rest of it's in line. Uh, so I, w I want you to go to your uh, trophy pose, and then I'm just going to slowly lead you through that circle of path uh, with your racket. So trophy pose, yep. And then what's going to happen here is your elbow, I'm sorry, your shoulder is going to lay back as your chest starts to turn forwards. And then you'll go into that on edge position and go up towards contact. Mm -hmm. So here's a, here's a mirror uh, image for you to copy. So here's a trophy pose, and then watch my, my chest and my, my shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yep, right idea. Okay, check this out. That one's really, really nice. Uh, a little weak on the trophy pose, so that's fine. We're, we're starting to focus on, on uh, this part back here, uh, the transition. So here's the, the racket uh, pointed upwards. And now watch, we're going to look for that same uh, circular path on edge and then up towards the ball. So this is, this is exactly what we want to see without the, the wagging uh, mm -hmm. right. back and forth. That's from each repetition to the next, make it your goal to begin with your hands together and make this entire thing one continuous fluid uh, movement at about the same speed I just did. So just trophy pose to racket drop to contact and just smoothly trace the, the, entire, uh, the entire thing with the tip of your racket without making any pit stops or up until now that's been fine. I, I want you to, you know, I wanted you to check and make sure you're in the right spot, but now I'd like you to try to make it one, mm -hmm. one continual motion. Good, good. About half that speed, but that, that was, that was really nice. The whole point here is I want you to feel these positions and be aware of what your body's doing. That's great, that's great. Slow it down a little more, but that's great. You hit all the, all the spots that we're looking for. Good, good, good. Keep it there, keep it there. Nice job. We're slow, slowly going to start to pick up the speed a little bit while keeping it totally continuous and fluid, but just one, one small step at a time. Let me see a few more at the same speed you just did first. All right, now I'd like to see you start from that same position, go through the same motion, but add 15% acceleration to it. So I'd like you to copy the speed uh, that I do right here. The continuous fluid, but still slow enough that you're, you're going to be able to feel and, and be aware of what, sh of what you're doing. Great, great. No faster than that. No faster than that. Nice job, Dennis. Should have asked uh, two reps or so. It took a, a bit of a pause on, on this one, but you're still, still hitting the position as well. I want you to keep focusing on the, on the fluidity uh, part of it because that's really crucial yeah you, you're fully used to taking a pretty major pit stop back there yeah starting stopping and starting again making the transition towards a, a fully smooth motion more than likely will you know really take some conscious awareness to yes. to keep the racket moving yes. uh, so now is the time to really start to work on that when there's no ball you're not worried about where the where the ball is going or anything like that 
So I can promise you, once the ball is introduced, it'll get a lot tougher, as you've experienced with the rest of your shots. Those are good reps. I started envisioning the ball. Watch. Yeah. This is what we're trying trying to accomplish. Yeah. A little bit of a pit stop on that last one. Yeah. Not pit stop's too strong. A little bit of a pause. But it was a high pitch. And so I'm about to give you a ball, and your only concern is executing this part of it, regardless of if you hit the ball or not. Like it doesn't even matter if you hit the ball. Okay. Uh, just executing this arm motion in a fluid, continuous movement is, is our only, only objective. But yeah, remember, remember the whole sequence. Yeah. Uh, you're going to begin with your, your hands together, yeah. then go to your trophy pose yeah. and continue, continue from there. Right. In fact, I'd like, like to see you trace through the motion and two or three times. Uh-huh, 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 good. Excellent. Good. There's the one that you just did. It's not going to be good up here. So you went, you went right back to the. Huh. <laughs> bringing the racket up to shoulder height. Flag. Accelerate. Okay, okay. So we've, we've cleaned up most of the, the wag back and forth. Yeah, most most, of, most it. of it, most of it. I don't need some of it though. I'm not There's realizing a... that after my bounce, I'm bringing this thing. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Huh? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, in my head, it, it was right here. <laughs> uh, thinking this for video, you'd probably never believe me. <laughs> What I'm more concerned with is, yeah. is this. Yeah. And there's just a little bit of a pit stop there, but yeah. no, more, no more back and forth, that's which is, which is huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's significant. And yeah. if we can just keep that, then at least we start to have a, found, uh, a fundamental, yeah. fundamentally sound kind of framework yeah. to start to work with. Dennis's overall understanding and ability to execute a quality serve has already dramatically improved, but it's important to remember that this is just the beginning of his serve development. To help him cement these changes into new habits, we sent him home with a detailed action plan for him to follow so he can continue advancing. Now I'd like to invite you to take advantage of that same opportunity by downloading our special serve action plan. Even though our coaches won't be standing there right next to you like we were with Dennis, we can give you the next best thing, a powerful, effective, step-by-step -step process to follow at home. Get instant access to our serve action plan PDF by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to serveactionplan.com. Simply let us know where to send it and you'll know exactly what to do the very next time you practice so you can get serve results just like Dennis. Finally, do me a favor and after you get your action plan, come back to this video to leave a comment to let me know how your results are coming along. If this video was helpful to you, then please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our lessons. Thank you so much for watching and keep swinging.